On this one, we have a 20-inch cord is drawn in a circle with a 12-inch radius. So let's go ahead and... Now, most of the circles that we've drawn that look like this, we draw that radius to the edge of the cord here. Okay. Now, typically, we will draw this line that goes from the center to the middle of the cord. And that will also give us what this length, what's this length of this right part right here? What would that be? That would be 10, because that bisects that cord. Now, we want to find what the angular size, so what that means is, what's the arc measurement right there? Now, to find the arc measurement, what do we need? We need the angle, the central angle here. So if we can find the central angle here, we'll have the, that equals the arc measurement right there of the minor chord, or so the minor arc. So we have that, so how are we going to find that central angle? Alexa? Yeah, so we can use inverse sine. And the reason we're going to use sine is because from this angle right here, we do the opposite over the hypotenuse. Now remember, this is only going to find this angle right here. And then you would double it. So if we do the inverse sine of 10 over 12, little calculator work, and we get 56.44 degrees. And you said to double it to give us our whole angle there. So we do, we get that to equal 112.88 degrees. Now that's going to be this angle right here. And now we have the angular size of this arc out here, 112.88. That would be degrees. Now, that was relatively easy. But the next question is, what is the length of the arc? Now, the length is different than the measurement. Now, length is actually a number in inches or feet or centimeters. And since I already we have these in inches, that means we want to find that length of that arc in inches. So how are you going to find what the actual length is? Because right now we have that's 112 out of the total 360 degrees. Madison? Joe, we, do a proportion. We, we can use a proportion. So if we're going to use a proportion, which would be what? Um, 112.88 over 360.: Okay, freeze right there. So you're going to do 112.88 out of 360. What is that actually giving you? What does that represent? That is the percentage of the arc. So I'm just going to put a little percentage <laughs> sign here. That's a percentage of our arc. Okay, so now we want to find the total percent. Yeah, it's a little arc sign. So if that's a percentage of the arc we want, now we just have to find what the actual length of the whole circumference of the circle is. Because, and then take that percentage of it. Does that make sense? So the circumference, now we're going back to something we haven't done in a while, but does anybody remember how to find the circumference of a circle? Yeah, either 2 pi r or pi times diameter. So what's the diameter of that circle? 24, so the diameter is 24. So the circumference would be 24 times pi. And we could just leave pi like that and plug into our calculator. And we'll see what we get here, 24 pi. 12.88 divided by 360. We get 23.6. And this is actually in inches because it's the actual length. So definitely know the difference between the length of an arc and the angular measurement of the arc. Madison. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can.